Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Prehistoric Island. Uh, in this episode, we're gonna, I'm going to do a couple different exhibits in these two spots here, a couple of small exhibits. Um, well, each one's going to be, I'm pretty sure I should have room to each one to be a uh, hybrid exhibit with a couple different uh, small animals and or dinosaurs in them. So we'll start over here and we're going to start with uh, this one right here, Scutellosaurus. Could be saying that wrong, but oh well if I am. Um, start with this. Is that the same thing I use? Yeah, I don't want that. What do I want for the actual front of the exhibit here? Maybe this. Slightly higher. That'll probably work. I might want that to be a little lower actually, maybe, but we'll see. wall in the back and for that I'm going to use the same rocks that I used back over here Alright, that'll work. I like the way that looks. And let's see what we want to do in terms of. So, this is an herbivore, or omnivore actually, so it does eat insects. Any good shelters? Kind of like this one. Maybe I can fit it in some place. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that's not what I want. I want trees. Trees, trees, trees. Um, I'll use some of the same trees I used over here. front here. Something maybe one of these dead trees. But a bigger one. Not that because I use that on the other side over there, so that won't. that's not what I'm looking for. Uh maybe something like this. Yeah, maybe a couple of them. Oh wait, this I like. Yeah, that's probably good. I'll put a few more scattered dead trees around. I like that way that looks. Um, and these exhibits, these heavily forested exhibits. Not too much in this one though. I want to make sure you can actually see the uh, the animals. Hmm, 
some food. I'll put some of these around. Some insects. Okay. Temperate forest. I think I want to put these in there with something else. Maybe these deer. Reuse men, men, month check, month check. Hmm, maybe, maybe. European roe deer. Uh, there's no name on this one. I believe by the looks of that. Um, maybe a mule deer? I think that might be what that is. Not sure. I could do a wild boar. Probably should have already had this figured out beforehand, but oh well. You'll have to just bear with me. Maybe some rabbits. Kind of like the idea of that. I'll definitely want to lower this fence though. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Maybe put one log right there. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need water. So put some of these around. Just sort of wherever they fit. Um, what about shelters? Okay, they don't have a shelter, so that's fine. And now we can go with a few plants. Again, I'm using a lot of these ferns here, I know, but I do like the way they look. Okay, oh, we'll put some over here too. And where is, yes, this is what I want. Some lighter colored ones. Um, yeah, some right there. Not what I wanted to do. Again, not what I wanted to do. Oh. Oops. Okay, any other plants in here that I use that I'd like to put in there as well? I don't think I did use anything else, really. Oh, some mushrooms. I could put some mushrooms around. Oh, a few there. A few tucked in there. Okay, that's probably good.
All right, looks good. Let's just fix the biomes. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's go with, start with dirt. Why is that not letting me do what I want to do? And then once again, we're gonna do use that fresh water grass because I really like the way it looks. I don't know why I turned that down. It doesn't do anything. Don't have any raised platforms over here. Okay, that looks good. Let's just get a gate. Get down here and see how this looks. Ah, there it is. Come on. Oh no. Thank you very much. Yeah, I like this. The only question I have is Is that fence too high? Because these are pretty small animals in here. Might make sense to use something a little bit shorter. Uh, maybe this. It does look better. Yeah, that makes sense. Makes more sense. Because it's still high enough where I don't think they could realistically jump out. Okay, so that's one exhibit done. Let's move on to the next one in this area right here. What do I want to do here? I really have no idea what I want, so I'm just going to look around and maybe I'll take a second to see what I can find. Okay, so I think I finally know what I'm going to do. I was looking at this and it looks like I actually have a pretty large area here, larger than I thought I did. So I'm going to go with some Miragaya, I think that's how you say that. And again, this will probably be a uh, hybrid exhibit with another animal inside as well. So first we're going to find a decent looking uh, fence. Let's try something like this. And we might be able to use the same fences we used for the Stiggy Moloch. if I'm going to keep that, but that's just what I'm going to go for right now, as far as the biome goes. So, 
Let's see. What do they want? I don't think I'll put one of these so they got so they have some shade. I don't mind how that looks. And I kinda had an idea for this exhibit where it's all kind of around one central like watery hole. But I don't want it that big. A scratching post too. They might have to leave that there, so I'll put it right there. Okay. Put, put some water over here. They should have no problem getting to those. Now put some of these pied av advocate. Advocate, is that how you say that? I don't know. I'm not great with pronunciations. Go back to semi desert. Put a couple of these guys in there. Ooh, rocks. Let's think. Well, first, let's decide out what kind of biome I'm looking for. I think I'm going to do this dirt with the freshwater grass that I've been using. I think that will look good. As far as rocks go, um, maybe I'll just use the actual scrub or semi desert, I should say. This is kind of big though. I don't know if I want it that big. Let's just take a look. Maybe there's some other rocks that I think will look better. Uh, no. Those aren't bad. That's a maybe. What is that? Wetlands. I could use these. I don't know if that would look too weird because I just I use them sort of a barrier on those other two exhibits. Okay. Yeah, I think that looks okay. Now foliage, 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 foliage. 
Let's start with some trees. Any s trees from this biome that I like? No. Maybe. No. 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 So let's see. Let's check out some other biomes. And maybe some palms. Some palm trees. Like the ones I used over here. Yeah, I think I like that. Now I just need maybe some sort of bush or grass, some ground cover. Uh, maybe that. Yeah, I think I'll go with these. Not a ton, just a little bit. Here and there. Can't get that how I want it. Uh, no, that's good enough. All right. Let's see. Um, let's go get rid of that. Go up here. And we want. First we want semi-desert dirt, so I can fill this all in. Okay. And now, fresh water. Let's see if I can get this right without getting into the water and getting rid of any of it. Nope. Almost. Did it again. Okay. looking let's just get a gate in here somewhere mm. where do I want it kind of want it back here and I can not there right there yeah perfect Okay, let's just get down to wetlands and fill in any areas that I need to 
like over here, for example. And over here. Okay, once again I'm being picky, but you know, it happens. Okay. All right, now I'm going to take a look at this exhibit, see what I think. First, let's look at it from the path. Hmm. I only have one problem with it so far. And that's that it's really hard to see these guys. It's a shame because they're pretty cool looking the guys. It makes me wonder if maybe I should lower these fences. I can't lower them too much, otherwise it would look unrealistic. So let's just take a look. Oh, that's right. I should get a couple zookeepers here too. You handle this, and you this. Thank you very much. Okay, let's look at a different fence, potentially. Hmm. I mean, doesn't it have to be too high? Because it's not like uh, these things would be able to jump very high, if at all. But it has to be high enough where it doesn't look absurd that they're kept in it. It has to look like it actually could contain them. Let's grab one of these guys. Put him over by the fence. As close as I can, anyway. Okay with that. I'm okay with that. These aren't vicious dinosaurs after all, they're herbivores, so they can apparently stand up on their high legs. Okay, so that's what I got so far. For the, that's the uh, the next two exhibits. Just a couple of small sort of filler exhibits uh, as we make our way deeper into the island. And the deeper we get, definitely the uh, the uh, larger, more dangerous, more impressive dinosaurs that we'll see. Um, again, you guys keep feeling free to comment, uh, suggest any dinosaurs you want to see, anything at all, and. I will do my best to make it happen. Um, I have some plans of my own of things I'm considering or and wanting to do in the future. So uh, plenty more to come, that's for sure. So keep uh, coming back and checking out this uh, series if it's uh, to your liking. So until next time, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next episode.